What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at a silver inform who goes by the name Camillo. He has 99 free kick accuracy, holy shit, can't wait to try that out. But, who gives a shit? Seriously, who gives a shit who has free kick accuracy because you never fucking get a free kick in this game. Anyway, let's get on with the show. But before I begin, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ETHANI to get 5% off. So, this guy is a silver inform. He looks really amazing. His con stats look amazing. His in-game stats look amazing. He has stats of a gold player. Seriously, for a silver inform, he looks really, really impressive. And he's Brazilian, which is a plus. And... He goes for like 60 to 70k on the PS3, so quite an expensive striker. But there's a couple of things that I want you guys to know. Even though he has perfect work rates, there's something that you guys really, really need to know, which is the 66 attack positioning. And that is a really big downfall because when I'm trying him out on the pitch, do you know what happens most of the time? He doesn't make runs and that is what bothers me so much even with that perfect work rate that 66 attack positioning he's not in the good he's not he's never in the good position which is really really bad so i was thinking to myself why is this guy never in a good position he has high attacking work rate and low defending work rate which is perfect work rates for a striker but I kept wondering, I paused the game, checked his in-game stats, and lo and behold, he has 66 attack positioning, which is pretty much terrible. And that is why I'd recommend him, at the start of this review, to try him out, not as a striker, but as a centre forward or a centre attack in mid, because then you don't have to worry about him as much to be in the correct position. So, decent pace to begin with, he isn't you know, the fastest of players, or he isn't the slowest either, but his 99 free kick accuracy is going to be his main selling point. Do you know why? Because he also has an amazing long shot and his shot power is in the 90s as well. For a silver player, that is stupid. That is amazing as well. Now, he's a decent dribbler. I don't expect him to be you know, a really amazing dribbler. I would have expected him to be better, but he's decent. He also has the finesse shot trait, and we all know how important that is. So for a silver player to have that finesse shot trait, it is really good. So this guy looks like a really all-balanced player. He also has four-star skills and four-star weak foot. It's just that 66 attack position you know just puts him down he's also quite weak so don't expect him to hold off any defenders he's quite short as well so heading wise he ain't gonna win anything in the in the air so there is a couple of disadvantages but you can have to ask yourself for a center forward is this the sort of play you need a 99 free kick accuracy player four star skills and four star weak foot decent finisher in the penalty area he isn't amazing in the penalty area he's just about good I guess decent pace as well with his perfect work rates which don't really show to in my opinion and they don't really show and um, decent dribbler as well so there is a couple of things that you have to ask yourself is this the right player for me center forward with all those benefits or just because he doesn't have good positioning or he's weak or he can't head the ball then maybe you want to you know move on and find a better center forward but in my opinion he's actually pretty good as a center forward and as a striker he's not all that so don't waste your money using him as a striker so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate a like don't forget to let me know in the comment section below guys who you would like me to review next from this team of the week so hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you have a very nice day